Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Luxplay here, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. I know I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I think around three months, which is crazy, so sorry for the lack of videos. I've been working very hard on schoolwork and, and other things like my gaming channel, so... Um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this image of a force field texture. So, the nodes are, they look really complex, but they're actually relatively simple. It's, um, the general idea is that this is what's creating the, um, the sort of, um, noise, it's the noise texture that's creating the sort of, like, bumps or whatever, the little wavy areas, and then was well, just adding the real effect to it, so that's just something. But if I just sort of compress it, um, it's actually not a very humongous node setup. It's actually pretty easy, believe it or not. So, yeah, let's get started. So, just create a new file and delete the default cube. And this texture only works with circles, but I'm also going to show you another way to do it, which basically, um, uh, just, um, I don't know how to explain it, but basically, all it does is adds a sort of blue outline to it. It's not what we're looking for, but it's going to add a nice effect. So just, um, I'm just, I'm not going to um, like narrate over this, but I'm just going to show you the node setup for it because I just thought it's something that's kind of fun to learn about. I actually should have kept that fuse. So, it's actually relatively simple. Okay, that connected. So, there it is. Very quick and easy, but it just adds a sort of outline to it, and you can set it to whatever color you want. And it just adds, like, this outline, like, maybe there is a shield on it or whatever. So, I'm not using this circle because I didn't make it as high quality as I wanted to, but... Anyway, this is just the, um... The whole thing, so layer weight, diffuse, and emissions. I'll run through a mix shader to get a material output. So just handy tip if you want to do that. So I'm going to start by setting up the environment, and I want to delete this lamp, go into the world settings, and set the background to black. So I have a completely black scene. And I'm going to move the camera to where I want it, so hit N and select lock camera to view. And then you can just scroll around. And I'm not quite sure, but I'm just going to position the sphere when I do it. So I'll stick to camera view for now. And let's just create the UV sphere. Now go into the modifiers tab, hit add modifier, and select a subdivision surface. And set it to two for each. Hit apply. And go smooth smooth shading and that just makes it a more high uh, HD circle so your sphere all right now for the nodes also I'm just gonna scale this up just center it okay so now let's start with the nodes so go into the node editor like I did before hit add new and just delete the diffuse now okay, so anyway, now add an emission Add a transparent and add a layer weight. Now run all of this through a mix shader and a mix shader, mix shader, and connect the Fresnel to the factor, connect the emission to the bottom and the transparent to the top, and then connect them all together. And you can see we get this sort of weird effect. And the reason it looks so strange is also just set the emission to the blue color you want to use, or maybe even yellow it works for any color. And But the reason it looks so funny is because the blend is too high, so we can just lower it, and then we get a this sort of feel. So that might be good for whatever you want to do, but I'm going to go a step further and just make this a little more complex and add the nice bumps around the outside and then you can, and a little more on the inside. So, n hit shift A and add a noise texture texture and drag it into the blend. 
Now, you'll notice that it's it's kind of like it's it's really it's too big. So, we'll run it through a multi a math node and set this to multiply. And you can adjust how much is showing. But as you saw in the first image, it's, it, it didn't look like this because this isn't really the effect I want. So we're going to run a bunch of other nodes through this. And bear with me here. Hit uh, Just duplicate the math node twice. Connect this to the bottom one and it to the top. And set both of these to subtract. Set it to 0.5. And you'll notice, like, you can adjust that now from there, too. But, you know, that's not quite what we're after. So then uh, search, or no, just hit duplicate the math node again. But this time, also connect them right here. But this time, set it to maximum. And that that just selects the higher of these two. And then run that through a minimum. Um, and, uh, and that just goes to minimum. And now you can modify the um, the multiply node, and you can see you get those really nice outer edges. Now, I set the scale to 6.1, because I think that just looks a lot better. And you can also even, like, change the minimum around, but it doesn't look good when you change the minimum. You can change the subtract nodes. Um, you can just play around with it until you find what you want. Because um, it's all user preference here. It's not, like, it, you're, you're the one that can decide. I'm not going to decide for you what the best one is. But, you know, it's all what you want to do, so... You know. Alright, so that looks pretty good. It looks like a force field. And also, I think the reason it didn't look good is because the detail was too low. Set the detail to 16. And yeah, that looks a lot better. So you have a very nice looking um, force field texture. Very quickly and simply. And if you want to get the fog glow, like the foggy sort of glow around it too, I'm just going to show you that really quick. Well, no, it's not going to be quick. I'm going to, you know, show you how to do it properly. So go into the world panel right here, or the render panel, whatever this one is, in the node editor. Hit use nodes. And you'll get this. Now separate these two. And ha add a viewer node. And drag it down there. And just connect. And don't connect it yet. But hit add. Go to filter and select glare and we'll just run that through both of them like this and then go to fog glow and then just lower the threshold a bit I often set it to zero it set the size to nine and there you go you have that glow and then you can modify the mix and I wonder what this does is that quality I'm not sure I think that is wait low what's low do okay that may actually makes it a bit bigger I guess I'm not sure what it does. Anyway, so the mix you can modify, and that may make it look better, depending on what you think of as better. But, yeah, so. I'm going to set this to, like, 0.1. I don't know. 0.1. Something like that should do. And there you have it. That is a really... Uh, like I said, it was fairly simple. If you followed along, you should be able to understand the nodes relatively well. And anyway, guys, that will be it from me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.